y'all, my truck is such a mess right now. And I also gotta go somewhere to stop for fuel. I completely forgot about that. Anywho, I knew I had to update y'all because I haven't been telling y'all what's been going on the last couple of loads. Y'all obviously would have saw the ingots. Um, I got loaded with those ingots. I never made an ending video, so I apologize for that. But uh, what happened was my camera died. So I couldn't really get a good ending video. Um, and then it was so late at night, I was trying to stop somewhere. But I delivered that at the Arconic South Plant. Now I'm at the Arconic North Plant getting loaded. Uh, or I already got loaded, sorry. I got loaded with one suicide coil. I'm taking that home and then it's going to Bettendorf, Iowa. Long haul, look at that. That's one nice little truck they got there. Again, excuse the mess in the truck, y'all. I gotta clean this up. An importante call. Uh, so, I, I stay lost in like what all I be telling y'all. But yeah, like I said, so I got the uh, the ingots delivered, picked up the load, now I'm heading home. I want to get a truck wash, but I'm already getting home like seven o'clock tonight and I'm not trying to get home later. This load uh, delivers in Bettendorf, which is a good distance. It says 667 miles away. Now I know from here to home, it's probably like 100, 150 something miles. My math might be totally off on that because I'm, I'm ass at math. But um, but I know it's a good distance home. So I'm gonna cut out some of that mileage just heading home and then I think, I don't know, I can't, I, I would have to see. I'm not sure if I should be leaving Sunday or Tuesday to get this one delivered. Okay, so I was wrong. 225, well, 225 miles to get home. That's gonna cut out some of that 667. And then I'll have like 400 something miles to go after that. Um, but like I said, I'm not exactly sure. Like I know Bettendorf to uh, 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 Arconic, our Alcoa, Tennessee to Bettendorf is like about 11, 11 to 13 hours or so. I'm gonna have to see by the time I get home how many hours it is from my house. Um, because if you guys don't know, Bettendorf, Iowa is one of those few locations where like they load or unload from six to six in the afternoon. So six in the afternoon to six in the morning. Unless you have a backhaul coming out of there if you had a backhaul coming out, it uh, if you have a backhaul coming out, it will unload earlier. But um, I do not, in fact, have a backhaul coming out. That's not as far as I know. So yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be unloading at the, between that six at night to six. And like I said, it would make no sense leaving Sunday because I'd have to leave early Sunday morning to get there. It would take up my whole weekend, and I don't want to do that. So more than likely, I'm gonna leave Monday morning, or if anything, maybe Sunday night. I don't know, we'll see, we'll figure it out. Cause I do have until six o'clock that morning. So technically speaking, if I don't leave until Monday and I drive the whole day Monday, well then uh, Tuesday morning, I can deliver and still be ready for my next load and it won't be a problem. So that's what I reckon I might do. Um, just leave Monday because by the time I get home tonight like yeah I'll have two full days uh, with my wife and two full nights but I don't know it just oh Alcoa police but it just it just I don't know it's weird it feels like time is being taken away from my family so um, but yeah again I want to apologize to some of y'all who do watch this a little consistently like I I need to get better at my videos uh, but I've also gotten very busy lately when it comes to like managing my time and things going on in my life um, you guys know everything that's been going on lately so I haven't exactly had the time to put out content the time to edit I also don't really record or edit on the weekends I feel like that's my time with my family to spend if we were to you know do anything exciting yeah sure I might record it but you know when I'm spending time with my family that's that I'm not very much of a public person uh, when it comes to my my children so you'll probably never really see my daughter on any of my videos um, 
I try very carefully to keep my daughter out of any social media and any content. Um, there may, there might even be some times where like I'm talking and you just guys, you, you guys will just see like a cut in the video and it's probably because I caught a glimpse of my daughter's on my phone. She's the wallpaper. Um, in hindsight, I should probably just change the wallpaper and make it easier on myself. But most of the time, if y'all see that cut, it's because you know a glimpse of her got caught in the video and uh people are weird uh out there people are very much creeps and that's not something i want to deal with so yeah to avoid dealing with it in general i just i just edit that stuff out and then i don't record videos with my family while i'm home um but i'm gonna i'm gonna really try better to improve these videos overall uh, even with the GoPro footage, I'm still planning to be able to get my uh, my microphone set up so the audio sounds so much better, a lot clearer, and you guys don't hear every single other noise that comes with the truck. I know some of you might enjoy the engine brake. You know, I know I'm one of those types. I enjoy hearing the sound of like a, a truck. So, I mean, for those of you who might enjoy the sound of the truck while I'm talking, by all means, let me know down in the comments. Um, Know, but if you don't you just want to hear commentary you know um you don't want to hear wind noises and all that other stuff blinker noises let me know that's what i already plan to do it's just like i said in my one title of my one video i think people don't realize how much actually goes to making videos and editing and making sure everything comes across right making sure that if there's kids that watch this content or young adults um, that there's not constant curse words because you know truckers were we're sailors at the mouth you know we just we just say what we want to say um, and I, I strive to make this a channel for everybody to be able to watch especially because I, I I made it and my main focus for my daughter to grow up and be able to watch it and obviously she'll always know certain words aren't bad to say um, uh, and uh, I'm even blanking now. She'll obviously know certain words aren't good to say and that, you know, mommy and daddy shouldn't say it. But sometimes we do say it. Um, I'm a firm believer that I'm not one to tell kids they shouldn't cuss, but I'm more of a believer of there's a time and a place for everything. And it's very, it's very ugly thing to do to curse and to have such poor vocabulary. So you know i try to edit that out and keep that out sometimes i just get frustrated out here and there's nothing i can do it comes out but um again i want to keep improving on my videos i want to make sure that this is the type of content that every one of you guys want to watch the more and more new viewers and uh people who come out and watch these videos um I, I, like i said i just want it to be overall enjoyable and something maybe everybody can relate to no matter whether you're a man woman black white whether you're a dry van, flatbed, uh, hopper, tanker. Like I want this to be something that anybody can watch and simply enjoy. And you know, I'm trying my best to keep on improving these videos. Uh, camera quality is getting better. I wanna make sure audio quality is getting better. Um, I know some people don't have a great attention span. Heck, I don't myself. So I try my best not to make sure, like to make sure that if my video is long, it doesn't go more than an hour. Um, I also try to keep it so that way, like, there's constant little uh, tidbits of content. I don't want it to be an hour of just me sitting behind a wheel driving, um, and and that's all you guys see. I know that can get boring. I know you guys want to see, like, loading, strapping, different types of material, how they're done, um, just in case you were to get into flatbed. So that's definitely the plan, and uh, I hope you guys continue watching. I hope you guys stick with it. You know, I hope you guys love the content that I put out. And if there's anything you want to, you know, comment about, whether it be something you think I might have did wrong, something you think I did right, uh, things you never knew about when it came to flatbed or trucking in general, feel free to ask me. I'll do my best to tell you. Um, I'm not one who has been doing this that many years, but I've been doing it just long enough. I don't know everything there is to know about trucking and I probably never will, I'll be honest with you. But if you ask a question, I'll try my best to answer it. If I can't answer it, I'll direct you to someone who can. 
and uh as always thank all you guys for watching i appreciate it shout out to the mom shout out to the wife and shout out to the daughter all right peace y'all can't see shit um morning y'all or afternoon whatever it is monday morning for me which means it is eclipse day solar eclipse day so i'm heading uh out to my delivery from home uh where i live we're only gonna probably see like 90 percent of the cover 90 or 80 percent of the coverage but it wasn't coming until like maybe a couple of minutes to an hour from now so unfortunately i didn't get to see it at home with my family and my wife's taking care of the baby we don't have the goggles or anything so you know she doesn't want to be outside with our daughter just barely seeing it anyways um i originally had a plan for me to go buy some goggles or you know solar glasses and that didn't really work out so um i'll probably be seeing some of it from the uh, from the highway because I'm going along like some of what would be the totalities path <clears throat> on my way to Iowa from Tennessee so I might see a good portion of it whereas my wife won't so I figured I might just record it a little bit hopefully I got enough battery time and enough power to record it I might pull over and check it out see what's what that's probably it's probably why as you guys see all this traffic up ahead um, and I got lots of warnings earlier that there'd be a hell of a lot of traffic because of this event going on. So we're going to see how bad it truly is, uh, because this is not normally a traffic route this time of day. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch you guys back when it hits. All right. Look at this. Look, see this stupid shit? I don't mean to curse so early in the morning, but y'all, look at this dude. Can't wait for anybody else, so he decides to make another lane on the shoulder. Like, so impatient. And I know y'all can still see him. He's just reckless. That's that's, that's the city I'm in, y'all. Like, it's just wild for no reason. But I just want to show y'all a real quick clip. This traffic is really crazy. Like, again, I know it's not normal. Because so I've left out multiple times around this time of day. Um... You know between like 12 to 3 o'clock and it's not normally like this bad heading this far up so I don't know my wife did say earlier there was something that happened but she said it happened on the other side of the highway um, but she wasn't too too sure so um, hopefully it did happen on that side you know like I got a kind of open delivery like I said it's from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. at the same time like I don't want to be sitting in traffic all day I got eight hours or so to drive and anything unnecessary is just not needed so hopefully get through this all quickly but again i'll catch you guys back in a few look we got another one white car in front of me just did the same thing same stupid ish bro like it, like the traffic is not gonna go anywhere fast if y'all keep illegally cutting people off mr 988 bfpt fuck it idiots man like it's way too early in my day to be dealing with stupidity i swear like if i if i had a battery power i'm i'm very tempted to just keep the camera on <clears throat> to show you guys like the amount of stupidity that keeps happening <clears throat> like they do say like moon phases and the eclipse make people complete idiots and that has never been closer to the truth it seems because like everybody's just being reckless and dumb today and i really don't know why like bruh like again we're all trying to get to where we're trying to go you being reckless and using the shoulder to cut people off is not helping nobody at all and i'm pretty sure that's why this traffic is here to begin with is a bunch of people who want to go see this stupid ass eclipse and want to get to where they want to get to so they can go see it and so everybody else's life don't matter. You know, everybody else's safety doesn't matter. It's just dumb. But uh, yeah, I'm a, uh, I, I'm trying to conserve battery because I got like, what, 53% on this battery before I got to charge it. And 
I myself want to catch a glimpse of that eclipse. <clears throat> I'll probably be smart and actually be driving while catching a glimpse of it, depending on where it's at. But, uh, well, yeah. yeah, preferably, at least for my family at home, if I can get us some of it on footage, that'd be nice. So, I'll conserve the battery and catch all every time someone does something stupid, like this little white car in front of me. Somebody be picking me up off the ground. Oh, this is uneven ground. Yeah. So. It's when I look up and then right. tilt my head back. Sure. It gets, I, I lose my balance. came on. Uh, what just came on? The street came light. Right. Oh, interesting. It just came right, right when I said that. Nice. It came on. This guy, he saw one in, in East Africa. Pardon? I listened to this program, this man saw it an eclipse in East Africa oh. and all the baboons went crazy went up in the trees I thought it was time to go to sleep <laughs> uh, all the insects went quiet and the bats came out the oh. bats flying around because they thought it was night time <laughs> it could happen here even you know, <laughs> if, it, if it gets total right we got a telescope over there <laughs> Yeah, the phone gets a pretty good image of it. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, the camera's about to die, y'all, but uh, we got a nice family who just let me catch a snag of the uh, the imagery. I got some of the footage from her from the husband's camera, and then. Uh, I'll be able to show you guys because my phone did a better job at capturing the footage than my GoPro did. Uh, of course, the action camera. Um, you know, got to see some of it from his camera, the husband's camera, and then they obviously let me use their goggles so I can see it. And it was a very interesting thing to see. Um, you know, I wish I was in one of those states where you can see the full totality of it. But, you know, maybe one year, me and my wife and my daughter will get to see that. Um, Y'all know me, or if y'all don't know me, y'all know I love anything science, anything like in the skies, uh, astronomical, um, astrology. Like not not as much as like the uh, zodiacs, but like anything astrology. Like I'm really love, I'm a big fan of, and so it was really cool getting to see that. Um, like I said, hopefully another year from now, I'll get to see more of it. Uh, headed back out now because I got a job to do, obviously. Um, but I'll, I'll try to show you guys that footage that I got on the camera through the goggles 
So if you guys didn't get to see see it yourself, you can somewhat see it. Uh, and that's all I really have for you guys for today. I'm gonna go ahead and let that camera of mine charge so I can make some videos later on and edit some videos. If there's any more for my footage, you'll see it. If not, thank you all for watching. I always appreciate it. And uh, I'm gonna catch you again.